DECO training course. Controlling and replacing distribution belts and fixed tensioner. Belt disassembly. Disconnect the battery earth cable. Remove the components that prevent access to the timing belt, protection case, auxiliary belt, hoses. Rotate the drive shaft to align the marks on the drive shaft with the timing shaft. Loosen the tensioner bearing and move it backward. Remove the timing belt and inspect it. Remove the tensioner bearing and the fixed guide bearing. Components check. Check the wear of the gears and replace any defective part if necessary. As part of the normal maintenance procedure, replace the tensioners and the pulleys. Check for leaks of oil or cooling fluids as their presence is harmful for the life of the belt. Check the wear of the water pump pulley for possible leaks of fluid. Let us analyze the causes and effects that may lead to the belt damage or break. Cut teeth, low tension. Detached teeth, excessively low tension, loss of tension. Worn out lap, excessively low tension, loss of tension. Worn side, misalignment. Worn out back, blocked rigid component. Irregularly broken cord, excessively high tension. Worn teeth, irregular tension, irregular pulley profile. Cracks on the back, excessive heat, incorrect belt structure. Detached and or swollen teeth, contamination, sharply broken belt insert, crimped belt, timing belt setting and installation. Install the new fixed tensioner. Make sure the timing notches are aligned. Fit the timing belt. The arrows on the belt should be positioned in the direction of rotation. Fixed tensioner setting. This operation should not be underestimated as if the tensioner is not positioned correctly, first the belt, then the engine will be damaged. Insert the locating pins of the tension tool into the holes of the belt tensioner. Set the weight on the tension tool at 65 millimeters on the graduated rod. Make sure the graduated rod is in the horizontal position when the belt is tensioned. Rotate the driving shaft of two turns in the normal direction of rotation in order to bring back piston number one to the TDC. Tighten the nut of the belt tensioner pinion to a torque of 28 Nm and remove the tension tool. Make sure the timing notches are aligned. It is advised to check again the belt tension with special control equipment such as the DECO tensiometer. Use of DTM, DECO tensiometer. The DTM is an electronic instrument which acts on the principle of the cord vibrations and is used for a quick and easy measurement of the tension. The correct assembly tension of a synchronous or asynchronous belt determines the functionality, noise level and lifetime of the system. Measuring method. Select belt test on the display and enter the test code indicated on the belt box or in the operation manual. Measure the belt branch starting from the tangent point of both pulleys and enter the value on the instrument. Position the sensor perpendicular to the selected free belt section and make the belt vibrate. When the measuring operation is completed, the DTM will issue a sound signal. The data will appear on the display as follows. If the tension is higher than the nominal value, 
values from 1 to 3 plus signs will be displayed. If the tension is lower, values from 1 to 3 minus signs will be displayed. If the tension is correct, an OK message will be displayed. If the tension is not appropriate, repeat the complete installation procedure from the start. Every day, the Deco power transmission systems power millions of engines worldwide. The continuous evolution of production technology, the investments in research and development, the ongoing controls on materials and the automatic process control all guarantee the highest quality of all Deco components. Deco, technology and quality available to the leading vehicle manufacturers worldwide. Deco, the leader of power transmission systems for original equipment, guarantees the original quality to the aftermarket. Deco, the original power in motion.